Hello everyone, I'm super excited to, to for today's video. Uh, so this is a white primered uh, MDF board, uh, which uh, is a folding table, uh, and we have we are using it in our uh, puja or ma mandir setup um, on the side. So the purpose of this table is that um, it is not being used on an everyday basis, so that we can fold it and it becomes a piece of an art and whenever we have some sort of uh, extra space required for the puja or ceremony or anything then we can just pull it up and use this space as a table so uh, here uh, i am uh, putting a masking tape it's basically a paper tape or a painter's tape um, uh, which is uh, very commonly used uh, 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 on the walls for uh, masking um, any sort of uh, art form on on the wall walls so it's easily available in any paint shop or a hardware shop just ask for a painter's tape and uh, i am just uh, um covering the sides with this i'm basically packing it so that uh, i don't want an extra resin or epoxy to flow so that's why it helps um, but it does not uh, you know um, protect completely but it does help um, in not uh, you know in keeping it on the top so if you want a robust and uh, permanent solution i mean like if you don't want a single drop to be uh, uh, you know uh, escape from this thing then use uh, a laminated sheet uh, on the sides in this instead of uh, this painter's tape so depends upon how you want it uh, this was good for me uh, as per as per what the requirement was so now and this time i'm not using epoxy too much uh, okay so this is a geode wall art it's uh, basically commissioned uh, art artwork it's a set of two uh, there's a watch and uh, uh, as well as this watch wall art as well as this uh, uh, wall art as well so uh, both are similar but not same um, there's a slight difference uh, in both the pieces and uh, then the clock has the roman numbers uh, uh, golden ro roman numbers on the top but the geode uh, wall art uh, just has the healing stones and uh, it's just a normal wall, wall art so hence i was mixing epoxy and uh, uh, there were similar colors which i would have been using on the tabletop as well as here so i thought to pursue both together although uh, as you can see on the screen that uh, this wall art is nearly complete uh, probably two layers has to be done so here uh, i'm pouring white uh, epoxy so i've mixed a white uh, and transparent so mixture of a white and transparent i'm pouring on the top of this white table um, white i have mixed uh, this pigment uh, resin and epoxy pig pigments which is pretty much available online and uh, now see i haven't poured too much of it that's why it's not flowing like flowing and i'm trying to level it up with my hands i'm keeping it low because this is the first coat and I don't want it to make uh, make this piece very heavy. So you also have to consider the fact that as much as layers you add of resin or epoxy on anything, it also adds uh, weight to the same piece. So I wanted to keep it light. So I've just added a very thin coat just to cover it up. Now... I am adding shades of grey and black which is again I am using a, uh, it seems like I have used a pigment because anything which I am mixing in epoxy is the pigment um, if I will be using alcohol inks then alcohol inks will be uh, you know separately used and you can you can figure it out very uh, you know um, you can easily figure it out so now see this is a slightly gray translucent sort of uh, um, 
and now see this is where i'm dropping alcohol inks can you can you figure out the difference so pigments i'm mixing in resin and pouring it and i'm so this is a gold uh, gold pigment where uh, i mix it in resin and that's a powdered form pigment which again you get it online very easily i'm making lines of it so that when it blends it blends like as an abstract art form so I'm pouring the same gold pigment. So it is always wise to take up projects uh, at the same time if possible because it saves a lot of resin and color because uh, uh, you always end up mixing little uh, more than required especially when it is required in a very lesser quantity. So uh, there is a minimum you know you have to have that much mix uh, to in fact drop a little bit here and there so you have to have a minimum quantity uh, to mix a resin and uh, uh, pigment so that's where uh, it's always wise to take up projects uh, simultaneously so less wastage is there yeah yeah So here I'm going to use my heat gun. Be very, very, very careful when you are using a heat gun. There are two big reasons. One, uh, it gets very hot from the nozzle. Second, you would not like to uh, heat up the resin, uh, I mean the base a lot because it might, you know, you might find uh, uh, little gaps here and there because of the heat. So you, you have to be very consistent uh, while you are, you know, blowing those bubbles and blending it with the heat gun. It's wise if you are starting new, then use a hand dryer. Hand dryer are much better than the heat guns. So I use both. Uh, sometimes I use, uh, you know, if I have to blend more, like if I, ever I will be, I mean, I think I will be doing a, an ocean theme next. So in that 110%, I will be using a blow dryer instead of this heat gun for mixing and for uh, probably for uh, for the bubbles, I might glaze it up a little bit with the blow dryer, but for mixing uh, the, the colors and blending it, uh, blow dryer is better accidentally i touched the nozzle once and i uh, had a burnt mark on my arm so be very 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 vigilant with this one and it's a powerful tool it's a very powerful tool so, yeah so my alcohol inks uh, have blended and i think the pigments have also blended now i'm gonna uh, leave it for some time and uh, Open the windows, uh, switch on your fan. Um, no, I'm also, uh, okay, I'm blending a little bit uh, more. I think it's a golden pigment that I'm pouring. Yeah, it's an, uh, a different golden pigment, but I'm adding to it. And there you go again. Yeah, blending is fun. It's, it's fun. Um, uh, you have to see what you are looking for and what design uh, I mean you want on the top so I wanted an abstract piece of art so that I told you the idea was to keep it folded uh, uh, and uh, hence it should look like a wall art uh, so that's why I'm blending it too much and I'm putting little color also not giving it a complete white marbling effect since there's a, there's a table with the marbling effect then there is a mandir with the marble so that it will be too much of marble around just to put a little bit of uh, um, you know uh, add a little bit brightness to that area i'm adding these shades can you see the gold color i have poured in the geode uh, artwork as well okay probably i'm mixing something and come back with okay okay so i'm moving this wall art to blend the color uh, in the geode wall art 
I'm checking if it is dripping. Okay, it's the next day. Uh, in fact, it's uh, two nights and a day. After two nights and a day, I have come up to sand the whole piece because I wanted to pour another crystal clear uh, uh, coat on it. But uh, while sanding, I found out that they, uh, the art form has been like little more abstract, I mean, little more uh, towards the gray and the black side. So uh, after sanding, I'm gonna put another layer of a white coat to uh, lighten it a little bit and add little golden uh, um, uh, you know detailing to it so I'm sanding it uh, completely and then this is an alcohol spray which you know uh, it's always three parts of uh, alcohol uh, like, uh, like spirit and one part of water and uh, just cleaning it up so that all the dust are gone yeah with the resin work you are, you especially have to take care that there is no dust uh, and this um, uh, you have to take care that it's protected from all point of view there's no hair no dust <laughs> no ginger around like that so yeah the sanding is done the cleaning is done now again see i have taken up another project so this is an uh, this was a, a mango wood uh, tray which i'm gonna uh, make two tier uh, uh, it can be used as an organizer as a cupcake stand or a cake stand anything so it's gonna be a two tier uh, um, stand probably um that's two different size mango wood so the rest of uh, the remaining uh, raisin epoxy have poured in it see now this is how you work economically so i i try to do it all the time uh, if i take up projects that's why i wait uh, until unless i have uh, multiple projects to, to do together and now see this is where i'm pouring uh, a little bit of white uh, um, translucent white not transparent not opaque translucent white uh, pigment mixed resin on the top so that it just it, it, it just lightens uh, uh, it's little light it went on uh, uh, to be too too abstract so I'm just uh, trying to settle it down now I'm adding a little bit of uh, uh, golden anti-golden uh, pigment to it and now I'm, I will be blending it. There you go. I'm going to use a heat gun again. <laughs> I am roaming with the, <laughs> the mango wood trays to keep it on the uh, type table edges into this one. No, so guys, yeah, this is uh, the new place. Uh, see, now I'm blending uh, uh, the antique gold pigment with the white just a little bit. Uh, and probably I will be using my hands as I can feel it that uh, uh, it would be better to blend it with my hands so just wait for it so yeah guys this is a new space and the new place you can see the background and everything but uh, i haven't received the tabletop yet i mean like my the work table so i'm using the chest of drawers uh, as my um, base table uh, it's uh, the order has been placed and uh, I, we will be receiving it soon and you will see me working on that table real real soon uh, that's a big table uh, <laughs> table for an artist is always it always falls uh, short um, now you can see this is how uh, this uh, folding table has come out where I have recently worshipped uh, uh, and celebrated Krishnashtami